Hello everyone. So today is Friday, September 6th. This is Frequently Asked Question episode 32 and it's a very short one because we did several episodes during the week that were subject specific. So today I'm doing another short video and this is relevant to an earlier video from the week where we showed a skunk cruising through my backyard bee apiary. What was the skunk doing? You need to look at that link. It's down in the video description. Amazing series showing how skunks get bees to fly out of your hives at night and then they eat the bees when they land in the grass. Everyone said, hey, shoot them, trap them, kill them, get rid of them, don't tolerate them. Well, what I'm going to show you today applies to any small animal that wants to come into your bee yard. My skunk doesn't come around anymore. I was going to show you a video about it, but he never came in camera range because we have put out ultrasonic pest repellent systems in the yard. And guess what? They're solar powered so the batteries don't die. You can see one in the background there out of focus. We're going to show them up close. I'm going to show you how it works and put a link, of course, down in the video description. So if you want to get one, you can get one. Here it is. It looks like an owl. It's got a little sensor on the front and you control the range and it flashes and uh, makes noise and that's why small animals don't like them. And the skunk, as I said, didn't even come in range. This is the back of the unit. Two screws there are where the battery goes, rechargeable. There's an AC adapter if you want one and here's the solar panel on top. And they have an aluminum spike that goes in the ground anywhere you want to put it and this is the sensitivity control. So you turn this little dial on the left there to the right and the bigger circle means it's sensitive to a larger area. So you can't even walk anywhere near this even if you're a squirrel. So you want to get squirrels away? Use one of these. And then you put this little adjustment. You have ultrasonic choices, little noisemakers that are species specific. My favorite is between three and four because I can hear it and I can see the flashing light. And that little dome at the top there when it's green it shows that it's fully charged. And if it doesn't get fully charged, guess what? They include USB chargers with it. I put them all around the bee yard. And if you recall, if you've seen that video, where the skunk was, he wore away the grass underneath the hive where he was eating the bees. And here's that hive that was featured there. And there's the little ultrasonic solar powered pest blaster. Nothing comes around. Here's the problem. My chickens don't even want to walk through that yard anymore. So. These things are good if you want to keep chickens out of your garden or off your porch or get a cat out of your yard. I bought five of them and they're working great so far. I can't tell you how long they're going to work. But when you put this thing on maximum sensitivity, I can't get within, oh, 70 feet when I walk out there. And of course at night it's more dramatic and lots of noise. And so this is the hive that the skunk was getting most of the bees from and they're doing fantastic and there's no more small animals visiting the bee yard. Maybe this will even work on bears. If it does, we're going to get that video. We've installed new surveillance cameras around the bee yard because they needed to cover a wider range and I want to see what comes and goes. And right now, nothing's coming. So a skunk went from visiting several times a week to not visiting at all. We're not losing any bees. Thanks for watching. Check the video description for these solar powered ultrasonic pest blasters. The flashing light, I don't know. The noise, definitely. The noise bothers me. Probably bothers you and leaves your ears ringing a little bit. And it definitely has driven the skunk away. So we didn't have to kill it, we just repel it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend.